Our top story tonight, early this morning, crews continued their search for a missing boater on the James River. Late Thursday night, a 22-foot sailboat with 10 friends on board overturned. Five people swam miles to shore to call for help. Rescuers retrieved four others who had been treading water for hours. One of those rescued was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Ten on your side, Surrey Crow has been following this story all day. She joins us now with the very latest. Surrey. Yeah, Lori, it was an intense search today along the James River, an effort that has now been renamed Search and Recovery as opposed to Search and Rescue. Despite the use of canines and several recovery teams, the effort to find that missing boater came up empty. A harrowing sight in the early hours of Friday morning when five of ten boaters were pulled to safety from the James River. Disaster struck after the group apparently decided to set sail. This after a late night party in Newport News. Of the 10 people aboard, one young man is still missing. His name is not disclosed yet, but search teams spent the day searching the vast James River in an effort to find him. We searched the uh, large section of the James River and pulled up the search around last night. And uh, we will resume the search tomorrow and we will continue every day for as long as it takes to find this missing daughter. What caused the sailboat to capsize is still a mystery. Authorities are investigating several possible factors, but investigators are looking closely at the number of people aboard such a small boat as one reason why the boat flipped. This theory doesn't surprise Rita Springer. She's been boating along the James for years. They get out on the water, they're young, they think they're never they think they're invincible, and we see that all the time. You know, people think that they can do anything they want to, but you don't go out on a 22-foot boat at midnight. Marine investigators say they are committed to continuing the search. None of us like somebody leaving somebody out there and a case unresolved. Teams will start up bright and early tomorrow morning, and this time they plan to use an airplane to get a better view of the river. Surrey Crow, 10 on your side. The man who died in the accident was 23-year-old Tyler Lorenzi. He was an associate research engineer at the National Institute of Aerospace in Hampton.